All right, well, I'm not sure you can see me. I came out because it's a really pretty day. I've uh, been kind of frustrated with my fishing lately. Um, came out today and tried out a crankbait that came in my MTB box for March. Um, I didn't do a review of the MTB box for March because I, I just didn't, I didn't have any luck and it was really uh, frustrating to try to to fish with the things they put in there. Now, again, you know, I'm fishing like a pond fisherman, uh, not a boat fisherman. There's a big difference. So as always, you know, keep in mind that my criticism has to do with whether or not I think the MTB box is useful for me as someone who fishes from the bank. So the lures that were in there were some kind of really deep, really heavy, deep running uh, swim bait, which I knew I was gonna lose. Um, so I went out to the to the big pond uh, where there's really deep water and I threw it around and it cast nice and I think it has nice action on it, but I got I got hung up and I lost it. I knew that one wasn't going to work. There's also a really big buzz bait in there. And a buzz bait, you know, for pond fishing should be good. I just I just think it's too big. Then there was a, uh, then there's the crankbait I used today. And I'm going to put the name of that crankbait up here on the bottom of the screen. I'll put the picture I took of it up too. Um, and I threw that crankbait. And at first I was skeptical because, you know, um, crankbaits in my pond don't always work out. So first I was really skeptical it was going to work, but it, it really doesn't run very deep and it's got a really nice big wobble. But I have this neighborhood pond here, which you're going to see in the video, where I decided to come fish that crankbait because a lot of times I've had luck with a crankbait in my neighborhood kind of fountainy pond. Um, but, you know, they get hung up on the bottom a lot and pick up a lot of stuff, so I thought this one would be ideal. I came out and fished that today and I like that crankbait. And then there were two soft plastics and a set of hooks and a set of wacky rig rings or o-rings in there so i figured okay i'm going to use the hooks and i'm going to fish the one of the worms uh, or one of the soft plastics wacky style well that soft plastic is like a little bit of a worm a little bit of a swim bait i don't know it confused me i threw it around for a while um, i think i got a bite on it uh, at one point and there's nothing wrong with the worms, but then again, there, there's nothing all that exciting. You know? And then there was some other soft plastic, kind of a blue-black color and flat, kind of like, look more like a leech than anything else. And I'll, I'll be damned if I knew how to fish those things. And so that was just really frustrating. I felt like I got something that I had no idea how to use, no idea how to rig up, um, and that really just seemed kind of pointless. Uh, so that probably more than anything else and that deep diving swim bait, which I knew I would lose, and I did. That, more than anything else, probably frustrated me with the with this week's lures. I, I feel a little bit better out the box because I was able to take the crankbait out and have some success, which you'll see in this video. Anyway, thanks for listening to this long, rambling uh, discussion about uh, MTB and how suitable their box is for me as a bank fisherman. And as always, thank you for watching.